What's going on, everybody? What's going on? So, pretty excited here. I'm going to give you guys a little sample of how these uh, little flip tabs work. This is new from Kiko. What's cool about these tabs is that, um, let me just switch the color here a little bit higher. What's cool about these tabs is that you've got a smooth side, you got kind of a rough side, and it's the first tab that you, to, you can actually use both sides. So you can have a aggressive tab and you can have a non-aggressive side of the tab and use them both. And I'm gonna show you how they work. This is gonna be the first time I'm testing these live. So if it goes wrong and you're watching live, well, you'll, you'll have a crack up, okay? If it goes, if it, and then I'll delete it, okay? <laughs> So if you're catching it live, you get to watch everything uh, as it happens. But I don't think it'll go wrong. I think it'll go great. Kiko is known, known for their good tabs um, and how well they, they are effective. And I'm excited. And they have some really cool ones that I'm going to check out. And we're actually going to do a demo. We're going to do a demo. So if you hang in there, I'm going to do a demo. I got three dents set up. And if you want more demos and more ways of how it's done, you're going to have to go to denttrainer.com because that's where I really do all the cool camera work and tool breakdown explanations and all this other stuff. And if you are a Dent Trainer member, you get another benefit because you get 10% off of Kiko products too as well. So let me, uh, let me show you all the ones that they have here, okay? I'm going to switch that over here. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, check that out. Okay, we're going to get into this here. So uh, they have the normal um, clear tabs that they have. Watch out for the clear. The more clear it is, the more stronger that pull is going to be. I mean, it is going to be a very aggressive pull. A lot of guys like to just uh, grab the most aggressive pull, but you've also got to be careful because you don't always want a very hard pull because you could over pull the dent and um, if you're not really good at tapping down uh, that might not work for you check these out they got the like ice blue babies okay you got a little bit of texture on this one and then you got a smooth on that one right there nice huh uh, you got the ice version of the one I just showed and really and check out these little baby ones right here Look at that. I think that may be close to the 9mm of the Gang Green, but look at the shaft on that thing. Super, super small and skinny and strong. <whistles> All right. Now, here's an interesting one. Check this out. You got a crease tab. All right. And I've used these before, too, and they work good. Now, you want a little more aggressive? There you go. Ba bang. Check that out. More skinny soft. I think that's about 12 millimeter, no, maybe 15 millimeter. I can't remember what size this one is. It doesn't tell you, I can't really see. And anyways, that's a good size tab to use a lot right there. Let's see if you can see that. Let's see if I can get that in focus. It's not gonna let me focus it, there it is. So there you go, look at that. All right, I'll give you a little bit of smooth surface, the reflection on it, bang. Look at that. Pretty cool. So I'm anxious to check these out. Small, small one. I'm anxious to check these out. I want to see how these pull. I want to see how that pulls. I and we'll see what how it pulls. But I want to see the smaller ones how they pull. That's what I really want to see. Another thing misconception is if you have a dent this big, right? A lot of people want to put the same size tab right in the center. I've been guilty of that. If you look, look at my early tutorials. I've done that, but what happens is what happens is that you, when you put a tab in the same size as the diameter, what happens? You're just lifting. You're really just kind of catching. You're not really pulling this main part of the center out. You're actually pulling the outside edge up. And what you end up being left with is a see that little hole right there. You got a volcano with still the center pit in it. So that's defeating the purpose. In order to to help create not doing that or help pull that center along with this, the outside, but you want to pull more center. 
is to create is put a smaller tab diameter in the center like that or something smaller something like this and then what happens you're going to get a nice tight pull the center is going to be up that's what you want so keep that in mind don't try to match the tab with the size of the diameter of the dent that's a quick that's a cool little tech tip right there i just helped solve with you now the t now the t the tabs and the glue is what's going to help the combination of you pulling much better success and if you like these tutorials what i'm saying right now how i'm explaining things like this you're going to love denttrainer.com okay this is what i do i specialize in help explaining things better so you understand i am excited about this let's move on to something else here because we will try those tabs in a minute kiko also just came out with their new curved tool um, tabs right here okay these are centipede tabs and what they are is they curved so if you have a nice crown you can put that up like this you know a crown like this and boom let's say oh well how come mike well how come if you got a crown like this you know up and down what are you going to use well i use these it's called the vipers okay the vipers can contour any which way that crown goes and do you think it pulls you betcha it pulls really good because you got this kiko mini lifter that goes on here and it just slides right through and you just pull you just follow the yellow brick road basically and get that out now this is a kiko let me pull this up just a little bit more it's a kiko mini lifter which we're going to be using and you can see how it contours it goes all over different places okay so we're going to be using that with those tabs right there so they just came out with these curved centipede tabs if you came out the viper earlier this year way earlier or late last year super effective so let's go check these out let's go see how these work okay so we're going to check i'm going to bring my little collection here i don't know if we're going to use all of them but we're going to use we're going to do like three demos and we'll see how good they pull we'll test my theory okay we'll put those right there okay i'm gonna set this up get you guys on Good look here. Okay. I should I put down for guys to see you. It's live, guys. So bear with me. Okay. Bear with me. All right. So we got this set up. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. I think I got it. Yeah. That's. And I'm Spanish too, and I barely can speak. Uh, so here's our center. Now, I'm using lines, guys, because you know that's my favorite right here. If you guys want me to do a fog later, I will do that. Uh, but you'll get, the, you'll get the idea. This is just to show how well these pull. <clears throat> so I'm going to obviously make sure anytime you, you pull, or maybe you're not getting a good pull, you got to re-wipe, okay? you got to re-wipe the panel. If you, don't, if you don't prep that panel well enough or keep it prepped, you're not going to get a good pull. All right, so let's see what's first on our list here. Let's try this goodie right here, okay? We'll try that one right there. And we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull this one right there. See how that, how that works. So I'm gonna show you. I don't use a lot of glue either. That's it right there. And I'm pushing firm too, guys. Almost like I'm indenting the dent again. Let me use. Now let me use a mini lifter. Now one thing about a mini lifter: be careful if you have too much of a curvature on the panel because you will dent the panel. Now this is a Honda Civic. It's got kind of a light panel. If it was more curved, or they had a body line right here or here. I'm probably not going to use that mini lifter because I will put indented feet. Now, I did a tutorial and I didn't, it was a partial tutorial. I better pull this. Hold on a second. Oopsie, I waited too long, guys. Um, I did a, that's why I didn't pull it. I, I was in there jibber jabbering and I should have pulled a lot faster. Um, I did a tutorial with these feet and I dented the panel. Well, I showed it's called glue pull gone wrong or gone bad. I got a lot of flack on there because I didn't show the full repair on YouTube. 
course I'm not going to show the full tutorial. It's meant for Dent Trainer. Um, anyways, it was a lesson. Don't do that. And it's a lesson that you'll have to finish on there. But check this out. Uh, the Kiko rocks. It's awesome around the side mirrors or any other tight spot around. Ah, we're going to have a cheer thing here. Uh, you'd laugh at my selection of glue ties. All the years of advance has proved to me with hundreds. Yeah, cool, Steph. I, oh, let me just pull this. Let me just take this off. So I'm actually testing this tab again because I, I didn't give it a chance here. And also, guys, um, make sure, make sure you, you pay attention to the time frame of how long you leave it on. We're going to do this one more time. I'm going to pull much faster. And then I'm going to use, um, use the mini lifter. And this panel is kind of cold. So the colder the panel, the quicker you gotta, you got to set up. So I'm using the smooth side, popping it. One, two, three. Okay. I'm still getting a little bit of a pull, but not as well as I want. Let's see. Okay, it is, it is pulling. I might, I might try just a little bit different tool. I got a little bit of a edge here. Let me pull that up here for you. You see that little, see that little edge I, I got? I got a little high spot right. Let's see if I can get this. Sorry, guys. Right there. I got a little pinch right here. One thing doing things live on t live, huh? Just gonna set that up. We're gonna try a little bit more aggressive tab. Actually, I'm gonna try this ice little baby right here. Okay, small one right there. It looks like a nine millimeter, like the gang green. I want to see how. How, how well it pulls. Here's the Kiko again, Kiko mini lifter, just tighten it up. One, two, three. Board, look at that. Bang. Look at that. Okay, those work for show, okay? See what I mean by the, don't let the small tab fool you. Small tabs have a big bite. Look at that. That's exactly what you want. You want all the center removed, lift it up with the tap. And now you just want to put it to sleep. You're asking me what tap down I'm using. I'm using an ultra uh, based tap down with their new peak tap down tip. And it is a little bit, it's really, really hard. So, it, and it can mar the paint. I got a, just a little bit of a ripple right here. You see, there's just a little bit of there. So I have to set that up just a little bit more. If I don't get it out all the way, then I have another chance of pulling it. So I'll just set it up again for more. I'm not afraid to make it big again because I got the core out of it. <clears throat> Microphone, sorry. I'm gonna test this out right here. This is the crease smooth tap. See how well that pulls. Okay. Now I'm not going to use the mini lifter on this one because the tab is quite big, and it's this is a very aggressive brand right here this this clear one this blue ice blue it's very very aggressive so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a slide hammer and this has this one's a uh, ultras 
And what this does is this has a pass through and a closed off section. So you can close it off by turning it or open it up on the side and you can see that, okay? Since this has a bigger shaft, I'm just gonna have it like that. I'm gonna, you can see that I don't need to pull very hard because it wasn't that deep in the first place. Oh. Boom, that's it, look at it, boom. It does not wanna let go. I like these flip tabs already, guys. I like them. I'm gonna leave that on there just for now. I'm gonna actually see what happens with this one. We're gonna go back to, ooh, this is a, nope, I don't wanna use that one. We're gonna go back to the smallest tab that they have right here. And I'm using the standard black glue. I forgot what, who makes that one. There it is. I'm going to slide hammer this one. I'm going to close this off too as well. I don't need the, I don't need the pass through. There it is. Hook. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> tell, tell me that's the smallest tab guys. That's the smallest tab. And that did that right there. This, this isn't about how good I'm going to pull this and how good on my repair is going to be. What this is about is that you guys are going to be a hero pulling these dents out because now you got something that will actually bite and pull that pit out. So this is a really, really good tab. That's already my favorite right now off the bat. And look at the monster pull on that, dude. And this one I let go just a little bit. See that? I didn't want to over pull it, and I got that. This one, I didn't know it was going to pull that hard. You see what I mean by the difference between these tabs? Let me zoom in just a little bit here. Gives you guys some good detail right there. Now, let's see here. like a lot okay i'm gonna move that board back just a little bit you can see i still got some imperfections in here now i do have a vip tap down too which i will show in a little bit but i can just and i'm just gonna i don't know if you guys can see that one here let me back this up so you can see just a slight little low on that one now, if you don't want a, a really aggressive, if you don't want a really aggressive, sharp tap down, you can use an R4 like this. I do prefer usually a sharper tap down, but this helps you not slip. And then, like I said, is that you will, you can use micro lows. I mean, uh, those micro tabs. Now here's a non, supposed to be not so aggressive tab. Okay, let me just back this out so you guys can see a little bit better. This is how small I got left. I will use the, uh, I'll use the more textured size, the golf ball looking size right there.
just a little bit there. I don't want I don't want to kill it. It's like that. I really do like these tabs, how they're performing. Tap down, which is this one right here, in case you guys haven't seen this one before. You have to keep it polished and make sure you're tapping it perfectly level with the panel. Otherwise, you're going to mar the paint. It's just got a slight little low here, and then you just do, we just do it again. Okay, I'm bringing that in just a little bit. So it's two parts of that. Now, if you wanted to, like I said, if you wanted to crease, you can put a crease tab right there and finish it off, which we do. Actually, I'm going to put the, uh, this one right there. The, the one with the, it's got more of a, a texture to it. Sorry, it's a light. It's, I don't have a backlight on here, but like that. You don't want to put a lot of glue. <clears throat> That's another mistake that people make is that they make, they put too much glue. And I was guilty of that too when I was glue pulling back in the day. Now I may leave this YouTube video up. I may take it down. So if you are watching it live, of course, Kiko will be like, leave it up, leave it up. That's it. I don't want to go further than that. I just pop, pop, pop. This video is to prove how well these tabs work. Okay, it's, you guys are trying to judge me personally as a PDR tech. Well, I'm all right. I might, I might not be as, as good as you guys wish me I was, but I'm all right. I hold my own. Now you can see I got a little bit of a Lit, just just a little bit of a pinch right there, okay? Now, I don't know if you guys notice on every Honda, Honda Civic, they have this right here. Every panel has that on the back quarter panels of the Honda Civic, the new ones. That's where they're, I guess, welded or plastic welded together. Anyways, just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyways, here is the pinch. It's VIP that, right? Some guys could take a blending hammer, blend that out like no foe. Bryce Rockhill, John Hiley, my, my good friend Achilles, Mike, I blended out. All right, and, you, know, you guys get the hang of it. I'm gonna sit there, I can sit there and blend, blend, blend. Get that out, or glue pole. This isn't a tutorial about how perfect the dent came out. I'm not, I don't have a lot of time to show you that. I mean, I could if you want, but I just want to get, show you guys the, the capability of the tabs, okay? Yes, I got blemishes right here. Let's do it one more, okay? I'm just here to help you pro provide, hey, is this tab going to be worth it for you to purchase? And in, in my personal opinion, I think it's I think it is. Okay? I th I think I think it is. Let's go zoom in a little bit closer. 
that board ends right there. Bang. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try this one. That's a flip tab again. So we got, we got this edge. We got, I mean, we got the golf ball texture on one side. Sorry, I'm not getting a good. There's a golf ball texture right there. And then on this side, this is the smooth side. We know these smooth ones pull hard. This is not a deep bent. Give this video some love. If you don't give it some love, you don't give some likes, I'm taking this son of a gun down, dude. How's that? <laughs> I'll put on a dent trainer. All of it. There you go. Look at that. Bang. Okay. Nice. I prefer, technically, if you're asking me what I prefer, slide hammer or mini lifter on a rail, I'm going to say uh, slide hammer all the way because I, I just don't like to dent the, the panels. Well, that was pulled really good. Two as well. And it got it out. I'll tear you up. <laughs> it got it out. Let me just bring this board in because that's what I like to do. Bring the board in just a little bit more. All right. I always like to give you guys the best shot I can. Okay, best, nice, clear shot. That's what I'm known for, right? So I'm known for giving you guys the best point of view. Maybe it's, maybe it's too close. See a little micro low in there. So what I do is I'll just set that up. Use my other favorite little tab right here. Actually, yeah, this is the smallest one they have right here. It looks huge. Tiny bit of glue. Damn, I've been doing this for 30 minutes already. One, two. Perfect. That's what I want. These flip tabs, you got to get them. You better order them right now. You better put it. There's a link down, down below. I just missed that sucker, I think. Now, what I like to do is do a double tab sometimes. Sometimes it's a little, see a little, you see a little how the fatness kind of dips in over on the left side right there. Sometimes I like to do a double pull, even though it's still hot. I'll just move it over. Move it right over. Live and direct. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna let go. That's the smallest tab, guys. Let me show you, give you an idea, okay? Look how tiny that tab is. This is my finger. That's the diameter of the tab. These suckers are strong. <clears throat> so, consider 
I haven't considered. I, I'm, I'll, I'd be already ordering right now. I'd already be ordering right now. See that double that double pull worked perfect. Now can I tap down perfect? The stress is on my wife Toledo is doing a live tap down. I got so many good friends out there that are so much better than me. <laughs> what? You suck. There you go, guys. Okay? Bada bing, bada bing. Do I think the tabs work? Yes. I hope you got something out of this short little demo on how these tabs work. The new flip tabs from Kiko, get them, get them. They're awesome, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, this, uh, this video. Give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. Give me some feedback, please, okay? I don't hardly, everybody wants to leave feedback now these days, I don't know. Talk to you guys later. See ya.